You are watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. USA's Kendall Schofield tells her story in a new book as she looks to earn another Olympic gold medal in Beijing with her teammates. Kendall Schofield never wanted to be a figure skater. Instead, she adored hours spent playing shitty hockey with her elder brother, but found herself in a pair of figure skates at the age of three with the rest of the girls at the local ice rink. Coin Shotfield, who would grow up to become an Olympic gold medalist in ice hockey, lasted two days before she insisted on skating with the boys. And on Thursday, she's gunning for a spot at the Beijing Games in an entirely new era for girls' sports. It's been an awesome process so far. Our team is training full-time in Blaine, Minnesota, and we've been here six, since October 1st. Uh, so about a month and a half. And um, wow. it's just been it's been so awesome to be together because given the pandemic and, and the structure in non-Olympic years, we're not together. So be, to be able to be together, to get reps together, coaching together, the resources that we have, the treatment, you know, the the therapy, all the sessions that we have here together is just incredible. And it's getting us a step closer to our goal. Every day we wake up, we have to get better and we're able to do that together because um, oftentimes we're all over the United States and we come together two weeks at a time here, two weeks at a time there. But now we're really together working towards that common goal of bringing back another gold medal. The 29-year-old who picked up gold in 2018 and silver in 2014 hopes to inspire the next generation of girls with her new book, As Fast As Her, Dream Big, Break Barriers, Achieve Success, which melds memoir with practical advice for young adults. She's made a career out of breaking barriers, becoming the first woman to compete in the NHL All-Star Skills Competition in 2019 and was hired as a development coach for the Chicago Blackhawks a year ago. The next step in her journey could very well be Beijing, as she has trained full-time since October 1st in Minnesota with other hopefuls for Team USA. The squad will walk into the 2022 games with a target on their back after they'd ended Canada's streak of four back-to-back -back Olympic golds in Pyeongchang.